In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to stop five wide in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this YouTube video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do that. I believe that my channel is going to be able to help you become a better player because as I learn new things about this game, as I lab and learn new things, and then I basically share that with you guys on my YouTube channel. I also share that in my ebooks as well. And today we're talking about a defense out of my 335 wide defensive ebook which if you want to get the full defense it is just 15 bucks and that link is in the description of this video but let's dive right in and again today we're taking a look at the cover four uh quarters defense out of the 335 wide the cover four show two really quickly i want to share with you that i don't have any zone drops set um, that is so that I can play some match coverage out of this, and, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about this against five wide. Now, if you have any questions about today's video, I would encourage you to go ahead and just simply text me. My number is available in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that are struggling for some reason, especially in regs, to stop five wide because you can't use man as much as you can in mud. Um, and so, you know, anyways, let's just dive in. This is cover four show two. So we're going to audible to cover four show two. You're going to see it's going to move people around. Um, you're going to notice also that if I man align the defense, it's going to change the zones. Um, as you can see here, uh, when I man align, you notice that there's no one over the right slot, right? So if I audible to man coverage, you see then it's going to move me, as you can see right here. But we're still having issues because my user is in a spot that I don't want him to be. Okay, so um, so I'm just going to run a play here and just get rid of the ball. And I want to share with you kind of a new way of thinking a little bit about uh, your cover four defense, especially against five wide. So if I go to cover two man, you're going to see that everybody's going to be manned up, as you can see right here. The only thing, the only issue is this guy right here. Now, the beauty of this is that when you're running against five wide, you don't have to deal with the fact of a run, right? You, there's not a massive run threat against this. So what I can simply do is I can audible to cover four show two, and I'm basically going to, what I would recommend is man aligning your defense and your coaching adjustments. It's going to help a little bit with this, um, especially if they're coming out in five wide every play. But then all you're going to do is you're just going to user this guy right here, okay? And you're going to bring him over the center or just put him right here and then shift your line this direction. And this is going to be a threat here. So I'll show you one thing you can do with this. So if I crash my line out, you'll see at the snap of the ball, I can run and basically use a rush him, okay? There's that threat that that can happen from this defense. So that's something that you need to be aware of, okay? So anyways, that's kind of step one. Five wide's a little bit different because you you definitely want to, you definitely want to at least give the disguise you could be a man coverage. And this is going to get them a lot better of alignment. And again, you don't have to worry about inside zones. You don't have to worry about shooting it. So you can just sit right here if you want to with your user at the snap of the ball. Now, if you watch this quarter's coverage, what you're going to notice here, just stock, and I'm just going to put my user on a spy. If you watch how this plays, stock actually does pretty good. Um, you'll see here the three regs, the underneath stuff. It's all taken really away. The only thing that you've got to worry about is some, some deep stuff um, from this. So, for example, let's say that they run... Let's say that they run this, uh, this double cross play. Uh, if I go into that cover four show two... Right, and I do want to man align it because I want the reason you want to man align it is because you want it to look exactly like man coverage, um, in my opinion. Okay, but let's just watch how uh, this left side plays. I just want you to kind of watch this a little bit, um, and what you'll see is this man coverage over the top. Double team the post and take that away, as you can see right there. Um, most people like to use the three rec, at least I do when I run this defense, but in this example. Um, and I mean, you could, if you wanted to run default alignment, you could, you could just simply bluff blitz this guy and user this guy, if you wanted to. Okay. The only thing is they can do some simple things that could give you some trouble, but as you can see, the quarters defense does relatively well against kind of the, a lot of the routes that people will utilize 
out of a five wide. Let me show you stick and nod real quick. I think stick and nod is probably one of the better plays uh, from five wide. And I just want you to watch here. Um, this is just stock quarters. There's nothing to it. Um, the one thing I would recommend is potentially putting both of your slots, like your linebacker and your slot corner, I'd recommend putting those guys into some kind of like seam flat. But you'll see these quarter flats do an okay job. And they, the, the beauty of the quarter flats is because with five wide, you don't, in my opinion, you don't have to worry about like quick throws to the flat as much. It's more out routes and zig routes and things like that over the middle crossers so because of that that can change how you play too i mean that that's another thing that you really have going for you i think um in a five wide situation so another thing that i want to show you is if we go back to the empty tray i want to show you this right here this is a a concept that you could see and again i just want you to watch this but what you'll see here is the tight end running wide open now that's the one thing i don't like about it and that's really where i think from a five wide perspective to me that's the biggest problem like something like that so uh, i want to show you an adjustment that you can make um, that can kind of help that so the first thing that i'm going to try is i'm going to seam flat both of those guys in the quarter flats you're going to notice that it's going to change how the the rules of the match defense works and, um, and you should see, again, these are vertical stimming routes. That's the problem of the match. But what you'll see now, again, tight end runs vertical completely over the top of the defense, which is not right. It, it doesn't make sense to me at all why that would happen. I think it has to do with the fact that there's so many vertical routes out of a five wide set. So what you can do as a result is let's say that you, you know that there is one little issue is that occasionally – there can get, you know, they can kind of get routes over the top, okay? So, again, we're going to man align. We're going to throw, and, 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 and this would be what I would do. I would simply just drop the middle linebacker in the deep blue. That's it. You're still, you still have your user rush threat on the outside here that you can always, you know, again, because you can literally always do this. Like, snap the ball. You feel like it. You just come around, sack him. And now you see we've got that completely taken care of. So, you know, that's, that's what I would do out of this um you know because of the way that the vertical throw because what, what what what's happening is out of quarters there's an additional vertical threat and that additional vertical threat is the tight end now what i would do is simply man the tight end up anywhere he goes now the quarters can play true quarters and then again you just drop one more guy and you're still only blitzing three people and you can have instant pressure at the quarterback right but now tight ends manned up anywhere he goes you know, there's really nothing there, and obviously you have deep protection. So that's a little bit about quarters against five wide. Um, I think this is a great starting point. Uh, I think this is a great starting point for you against five wide. If you're struggling stopping spread offenses, um, the defensive ebook really does help. Um, there's a ton of stuff in there that will show you how to stop spread offenses. The beauty of this is you can really mix a user rush and a quarter match. Uh, defense as well as even a cover three uh, match defense as well that you could do to really help a little bit with that deep protection but that is um, that's the tip video for today now if you want to get the defensive ebook that is available for you in the description again it's just 15 bucks and uh, it really does help your defense a lot of people beginning top 100 with this scheme um, it's a very very good defense uh, as well now, really quickly, right before we go, I do want to let you know. Maybe you're still on the fence about getting the ebook. Um, I do want to let you know that I actually have a free sample of the ebook available for you as well in my text message membership. My text message membership is completely free for you to sign up for. Literally, all you have to do to sign up for it is just text me. My cell phone number is 812. 216-3644. So just hit me up via text message. I'd love to chat, talk with you some Madden, but I'd also uh, like to be able to send you that sample. So just say, hey, Cody, I'm looking for the 335 wide sample defense, and I'll shoot you a text. That is my personal cell phone number. It will always be my personal cell phone number. I'm committed to you guys to making sure that any text messages that you receive comes directly from me. So thanks for your time. I really appreciate it, and we will see you guys um, in tonight's live stream. We stream every night on YouTube at 10 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to come hang out, I'd love to talk Madden with you on stream.